Yo, so did you see the commercial Gillette came out with? I think the crazier thing is not what the commercial was about, but the reactions that people had. I mean, cats was all up in their feelings, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, I saw it, and I was like, okay, you know, for sure, talking about manhood, trying to redefine what it means to be a man. You know, maybe not this whole macho act, you know what I'm saying? And I'm cool with that, but I think some people are taking this as an attack on manhood. But for me, like, this just opens up a, a bigger question. And not just talking about manhood, but talking about race, talking about gender, talking about social economic class. But the question that this makes me ask is, if I see somebody being treated unfairly, what am I doing about it? Hey, yo, what up? This your boy, Dante Allen, and thank you for joining me for the Weekly Devo. I sure forgot my coffee, but I hope you got yours, all right? Let's go ahead and get in there. So Gillette came out with this commercial and a lot of people think that they're bashing manhood and they're saying that, oh, it's a bad thing to be a man. But then other people are really applauding this mug and saying, yeah, we need to redefine what manhood is so that we can treat women better. Now I'm all for that. I'm all about treating our women better because the mentality that a lot of people have when it comes to treating women a certain way a little skewed, but it's a bigger question that we need to be asking. I don't think it's just women that are being treated unfairly, but I think it's also people of different races, people who have a certain amount of money, you know, maybe you got this much and maybe you got this much, but I think that sometimes we treat people differently and sometimes unfairly. So the question that I'm asking is, if someone's being treated unfairly around me, what am I doing about it? You see, I think that this is the question that sometimes we're just afraid to address because it makes us look in the mirror and really ask, yo, am I helping out my brother or my sister? Or am I playing favorites? Am I only finding people who think the way that I think and live the way that I live and treat them well, but then everybody else, ah, eh, it's kind of like whatever. You see, my challenge is that we wouldn't just find people that are just like us and treat them well, but that we would also find people that are being treated unfairly around us and that we do something about it. Maybe that looks like helping them out in a way that nobody else is doing. Or maybe that means actually standing up for them when other people are mistreating them and you come in and say, hold up, hold up, hold up. We ain't finna do this right now. I don't know exactly what that looks like for you, but I want to ask you that question. Is there somebody around you that's being treated unfairly and what are you doing about it? In James chapter two, verse one, it says, my dear brothers and sisters in the faith, don't show favoritism. And I think it's one thing to be like, okay, this person agrees with more of what I agree with, so like I can gel with them more. And I get that, that's a, that's a preference. But when we become partial to people and say, you know what, they think differently from me or they look differently from me, so I'm gonna treat them differently. I think that's where we gotta pump the brakes. But not just that, when we see people being treated unfairly because of the way they look or because of their status or anything like that, I think we need to ask ourselves, what am I doing to help them out? Am I being partial? Am I showing favoritism? Or am I living in fear? And I just think that's an honest question. I know that's the question I gotta ask myself. Am I afraid to stand up for somebody else? But that's when I gotta look myself in the mirror and ask myself, yo, like, what are you doing about this? Are you helping those who are being treated unfairly or are you just kind of being passive and sitting on the sideline, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's time to get in the game. It's time to find the people that are being treated unfairly and to stand up for them, all right? Hey, yo, what up? This your boy, Dante Allen, and thank you for joining me for the Weekly Devo. If you like this content and you want to see more of it, go ahead and subscribe, you know what I'm saying? And also hit that little bell so you can get notified whenever I drop a new video, all right? Till next time, much love, peace.